and hello and welcome to the American Civil War History UK. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and about the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and obviously there will be some people that actually know me but there's going to be some people that don't. So that is why I'm here today to talk about it. So hopefully you enjoy it. I'll try not to waffle on too long. Anyway, so me, you know, what's it about? So for me, it's not about making money. It's not about, well, I'll say that, trying to be famous or anything like that. Not interested in anything like that. I'm interested in it because it's my passion. And it's been my passion for some time now. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, let's go back a little bit. So myself, born in Ashford in Kent. Ashford in Kent's a very famous place, you know. It might not be to some people, but it it's got it's made a stamp on history. I mean, Ashford in Kent is in the Doomsday Book, you know, which was commissioned by William the Conqueror when he invaded England. So it was basically like a um, census of the time, you know. Obviously, Ashford being a market town, you know, it's important. People that live in Ashford in Kent will know that. There's a roundabout with cows coming into the town. That's because it was a market town, you know. So it was a market town first, and for hundreds of years, it would have served all the local little villages and all the little places around Kent, and that's where they would have bought their livestock or their whatever they wanted to trade at market. Moving on, Victorian times, the railway comes to Ashford, and as you know, the railway changes life for everybody. So you can have flowers from Devon in London in a day, you know, whereas before it would have taken forever. Anyway, moving on, other places in Kent that are famous. Canterbury, you know, the birthplace of Christianity in, in England, or, or and that, some people might say the world, you know, we've got C Canterbury Cathedral there, amazing place. You know, um, let's move on, Folkestone, you know, Folkestone, people might think, well, how's that famous? Well, you know, it, it's been here a long time as well, you know, like most places in England, we've got the Harbour Arm. The people don't realise how important the Harbour Arm was. This is this is this was used to send troops off to World War One, you know. And a lot of those young men never came home, you know. Um, it's 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 we're steeped in history. Now the reason I'm mentioning this is because I had a video chat the other day with Chris Mikowski of the uh, Emerging Civil War, and the first thing I asked him, I said. What's it like living and breathing a civil war? Of course, his response was, and you can watch the video yourself and find out. But he said, well, I can't step out my door without stepping on history. Well, that's the same for us as well, isn't it? You know, we step out the front door. There's history everywhere. Um, five miles down the road, got Dover Castle. You know, another one of William the Conqueror's uh, great, you know, attributes to the country along with the Tower of London, and you can name them all. We've got them all, you know. We are steeped in history. But, for me, my favourite period is the American Civil War. So, the point of this page is, yes, I want to highlight some British history, because I am a proud British person. I love my country. But at the same time, I find the American Civil War quite engaging and quite exciting. And I think the reason why I like it more is because you've got written accounts, and you've also got photographs. And it was only 150 odd years ago. It wasn't that long ago. So that's one of the reasons. Um, most people will know me, who do know me, know that I was, I've was i been a reenactor for 16 years, there or thereabouts. So I, re, I was reenacting English Civil War. I absolutely love it. The English Civil War, I mean, if, if Joe Bloggs was to come up to me in the street and ask me a question about it, I, I, I've got enough basic knowledge about it to be able to tell you. But the thing is with the English Civil War, for me, it was more about the drinking, you know, taking over the local pub, the local town, whatever. These people that watch this video back that were involved with that will know what I'm talking about. And also the scrapping, you know, because in the in the English Civil War reenactment, we actually do fight in it. If you're a pikeman, it's very physical. But, you know, I'm not old. I'm 38 years old, but I've got two young children. and It's got to the point where, you know. I've got to step back from that because last season I had a real bad rib injury from it and it real really affected my life. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, 
do my work properly. You know, I mean, some people might turn around and say, well, you're lazy, get anyway. But there you go. That, that That's neither here nor there, you know. But it hurt, you know. And and it, and it and anyway, it got me thinking. Now, I love the, I love the English Civil War, I do. It's, it is interesting. It, we, this is what people got to understand. The UK or England at the time gave the whole world democracy. If it wasn't for the English Civil War, uh, you wouldn't, I know, I know uh, we, we laugh at democracy because to be honest with you, they do what they bloody want anyway, these politicians. But the fact of the matter is, if we didn't have the English Civil War, you wouldn't have democracy. And the king or the queen would still have the power to lord over us. They don't have that anymore. Yes, but saying that, I am on the parliament side, but at heart, and I hate to say it, and a lot of my English Civil War re fellow reenactors will hate me for saying this, but I'm a royalist at heart. I love the queen. I think she's lovely, you know? She's a lovely old granny, isn't she? She's beautiful. Anyway, so let me know what you think about the queen, you know? If you're in, in America... You know, let us know, you know, wherever you are in the world. I hope this reaches loads of people. I'm not just trying to reach the local community. I'm trying to reach everyone around the world. And there's lots of exciting stuff coming up. And, and you can see it already. The passion is there. I'll tell you a little story. My work colleagues, they'll tell you this. They ask me a question about something about history. God help them. You know, they're, they're falling asleep, bless their hearts. You know, I see them laying there. You know, after five minutes, because I just start going. It's like, you know, like when you put something, a coin into a machine. That's what it's like. So remember, guys, don't ask me any more questions. Right, because I'm going to get vent it out on here now. You know, you see, that's the, that's the point of it. So anyway, so it's in, a, in this doing this English Civil War pikeman business, you know, uh, 16 years. And there is a big part of me that's going to miss it. But I've had to let go of it for now because my real passion has always been American Civil War. So my obsession with the American Civil War started. Um, so I have a very good friend and his name's Tony. Right. So he comes along to one of my um, second season, I think, in the Sil in the uh, English Civil War. Sorry. And he said to me, yeah, mate, here's a, here's a box of VHS is there. In the box was a few, you know, you had Cromwell. Not very good film. 70s, you know. It, I mean, people might like it. It's not my cup of tea. Right. And, you know, it's it's OK. Waterloo, another good film, but again, a bit dated. But there was one in there, and it's in, it's in a two. And any American Civil War enthusiast will, will get this. And the name of the movie is called Gettysburg. And if you haven't seen it, and, you, and you're not into the American Civil War, I suggest you go and find it. Because it is one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. So it depicts the three-day battle at Gettysburg, which is a very important part in... Not just the Civil War, but in American history. And they've looked after this place, you know. OK, yeah, it's only 150 odd years ago. Right. But they looked after it. So that led me on. Me and my friend, we decided, you know what? We're going to go and visit it. And I was young, single at the time. Let's go. So we did it. And I walked on the ground and it just grabbed me. You know, it's, it's the most amazing place you have ever ever been to if you like that sort of thing and it just started reeling me in you know and when I got home I started collecting pictures and post uh, you know everything and my 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 house was decked with the stuff you know I had picture I had pictures of General Lee I had pictures of of uh, maps of Gettysburg you know all that sort of stuff the Gettysburg address all this famous stuff from the American Civil War so moving on, um, I meet my wife. And of course, as people know, you have to make compromises when you meet someone, you know, and I love them to bits. And I, I've been with her 10 years now, my wife, you know, and she does have to put up with some because, uh, again, she's, a, you know, I love her to bits, but she does fall asleep sometimes when I'm going on about it as well, because it's not her interest. So, again, all this pent up frustration of wanting to talk about it and no one to talk about it to. So hence the reason why I'm doing these videos. You know, there might be some people out there that say, well, you've got that bit wrong or you've done that bit wrong. I'd like people to bear in mind, I'm very, very new to this. And this is this was completely spontaneous. I don't know where this passion, like the passion for making videos and, and getting you guys to uh, attempt to watch them has come from. But it's just it's just come along. Anyway, it prompted me to obviously... You know, after I, sorry, track, 
backtrack a little bit. I'm always doing this. I forget. I'll get. I'll start running away. You know, I'm always getting told off for running too fast. Um, so of course, marriage, kids come along, and it's all in the loft. All right. I've still got one up there. We used to have General Lee in the downstairs toilet. Anyway, you know, it's a bit, a bit scary when you, you know, and he's looking at you. Anyway, he wasn't a scary man, mind you. But anyway, that comes along, you know, and things slow down a bit. The English Civil War slowed down a bit. I wasn't doing as many a year. But again, at a certain point, I did lose the passion for it. And then I found the passion again for it. And the reason why is the people, you know, the people that are in these societies are amazing. And if you ever get the chance, people, I suggest you go and check these reenactments out. Because the people that are behind reenactment are some of the best people in the world, the most dedicated. They spend their time, they spend their money on researching all of this stuff for the good of, you know, showing it off and showcasing it. And the English Civil War is a very, very important part of England's history. And it has a little bit been forgotten about. So go and look it up. Go and watch a TV program about it, you know, because it's interesting. It's part of your heritage and my heritage. And it's important that we learn about it. But the main aim, again, of this site is American Civil War. It's not so much about the English Civil War, but I will chuck a few things in there now and then. I've got loads of loads of ideas in the pipeline, especially from the local area. Like I said, I've got Dover Castle down the road. I'm going down Dover Castle and I'm going to film some stuff down there. I'm going to do stuff about the Battle of Britain. You know, we're going to cover stuff. We are going to cover, and this is my absolute favourite, because I've been going down there for 17 years. So I go to a little place down in Devon. It was one of the last battles of the English Civil War, and it's called Great Torrington. Uh, I've got some good, good people down there, and they will definitely be willing to help me to promote the town. You know, especially once we get out of this current horrible, awful, blooming situation that we find ourselves in. But enough said about that, the better. So anyway... As you, so in in 2019, I went to a multi-period event and the American Civil War reenactors were there and I met them in the beer tent, oh, in the beer tent again. Anyway, so that I always meet people in the beer. I'm always in the bloody beer tent. I'm always the last to leave, actually. They normally actually I normally get pushed out. Anyway, I'm not saying I'm an alky or nothing because I'm not. Um, but other people might say different. But anyway, um so i meet these guys and at the time and this is what i'm going to bring into it now is mental health because i was not in a good place at the time i was really struggling um i just had a fantastic holiday and i came back and i hit a brick wall and it was like loads of years of i don't know i don't know what it was it just it just hit me and i really really struggled and i remember going to work and people were saying to me darren mate you're not the same because normally i'm quite a bubbly person you know uh, they say mate there's something wrong and i got home and i and i just you know i had to phone up you know the doctor or whatever got myself some happy pills you know um but at the same time i met these guys and they literally just gave me the massive boost that i was probably looking for at the time and i haven't looked back since and, and I say this to them all the time, they've sort of lit the fire because the American Civil War was always simmering underneath. And over the years, I've always done little bits of research, watched programs that I can, you know. And, and, and also, I, I, I want to point out as well to the people that are dyslexic, because at school, I didn't have great, you know, I was a little, a little shit, really, basically. Uh, sorry about swearing. But the reason why I was a little shite is because they didn't understand dyslexia in the 80s, you know. And, and, and they just thought you was a ficko, you know, and I've always had a little bit of a problem with with uh, reading. I mean, obviously, social media has changed that for most people. I'm not saying that I couldn't, but I can't sit there and concentrate enough on a book, you know. So I come across this little site at the same time that I meet these guys and it, it, it's got podcasts on it and it's got audible audio books. OK, and this has opened the doors for me. Because now I'm listening to stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to read. Because, yeah, I can read. But I find it a struggle to sit there and read a whole book. I can't do it. I can't concentrate on it enough. But if I'm listening to it, it goes in. And the same. Watch a TV program. My brain is like a sponge. You know? 
and uh, I've got this wealth of information that I want to get out there to people. Hence the reason why I've started all this. So anyway, I decided to test it out on my little Facebook group first and I got a fairly good response. I got a good response, sorry. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to have a YouTube page. Why not? Everyone else is blimmin' doing it. This is the age, you know, this is one thing about this time, this time period. And there's a wealth of information out there now, which you otherwise wouldn't have been able to get before the Tinternet came along. You know what I mean? So, I mean, God knows what we did when we had bloody, uh, what's it, Slate and, and Chalk, you know? Um, we didn't have Wikipedia then, did we? You know, but anyway, that's what we do now. I mean, we live on these these things don't we you know this is our what we do you know that we're, we're drawn to it i mean not it's not all good you know but some of it is okay uh, most of it's okay because you know so this leads me on to my next thing i thought you know what if you don't ask you don't get so this chris mikowski a lot of you won't know who chris mikowski is but he's an expert in the civil war he's written 12 books he's he's um also um, dedicated himself to battlefield preservation in America. He's, you know, he runs a symposium in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia every year. And that's been going for about seven or eight years now. He started, a, 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 a he's a co-founder of a thing called the Emerging Civil War, which helps budding um, historians and, and amateur historians get a foothold in the world of, you know, this sort of thing. So he's doing such a fantastic job. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to message him on Messenger. And I thought, I thought nothing of it. He's not going to message me. You know, he ain't got time for me. I couldn't believe it. He messaged me back. Yeah, no problem, Darren. Your mum was right. If you don't ask, you don't get. He said, what do you want to talk about? I went, well, I want to talk about the Battle of Fredericksburg. But of course, the anniversary had already gone. But me being compulsive, I asked him about a day before it was, you know, I mean, you. well, it was sort of like half the week before sort of leading up to it. But of course, he didn't answer his message straight away because he's a busy guy, you know. He's he he works in a university. He's a very you know busy guy. So anyway, he he agreed to come and talk to me, and and you can see the video on the YouTube page. Um, again, I might get criticism because it's my first video, you know, uh, of, of doing something like that. And I, yes, I am very new and very, you know, inexperienced, but I'm going to try and get better, you know. And it, it it's it was great. It was fantastic. I couldn't believe he's really given me a, a boost you know because he's come on there and he spoke to me he doesn't know who I am he, he you know it's absolutely fantastic so Chris Mikowski thank you very much if you ever watched the video um right moving on American Civil War again the main aim is to get the American Civil War out there and spread the gospel so it's almost like the history gods have come down and possessed my body yeah and my job is to make sure everyone knows about what went on because we need to know, don't we? You know, like I said, we are living in a country which is full of stuff. So what I'm going to say to you is, guys, get off your sofas when the pandemic's over. And should I say the great pandemic of 2020, because we're now in the history books. So when you're feeling down about it, don't worry, because it's actually not that bad because you're in the history books. Although it is sad at the same time. So just remember that. We will get out of this. We will defeat it. And we will get on with our lives. But it's going to take a team effort from everyone. Anyway, enough about preaching about that. Because everyone's fed up of hearing about it. But I'm just saying. you know. And again, main aim. American Civil War. There will be some English history in there as well. And whenever I get the chance, I will be getting the camera out. And I will be filming this stuff. I am going to go to Dover Castle and I'm going to do a vlog on Dover Castle. So, and I'm going to try and get somebody to come and talk about it. I've got lots of stuff in the pipeline. I've been chatting to loads of people through Instagram who otherwise, again, we wouldn't be talking to. And again, this is the aim. Yeah, we've got to get the history out there. We've got to learn about it because it's 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 good. And I think it will open your eyes. And another thing, going back to the American Civil War, it's just full of characters. I mean, there's so many characters in the American Civil War, it's unreal. Yes, OK, they, they've got, they, like I said, 
by this point in in the mid 18th uh, 18th century uh, sorry 19th century they're reading and writing better so they can send letters home they can write about stuff and this is why you've got so many accounts of it all you know but again the the work that these guys are doing in america is amazing and we we do the same in england you know there's there's many trusts in england that look after places and manage them so get your butt off your sofa when the pandemic's over and get out the front door and have a look because it's on your doorstep anyway guys i'll stop droning on now go on to the instagram page at the moment it is actually named something else i have tried to change the name the name of this is the, like I said, American Civil War History UK. And again, the UK part stands for obviously the country, but it also stands, because that's where we're from, but it also stands for that we're going to mix it up a little bit. You know, it's not always going to be about American Civil War. But again, I'd just like to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel. You know what to do. And I've been looking forward to saying this bit. Is it down there? I can't see it. Subscribe. Hit the button down there. I think it's over here somewhere, is it? And don't forget the like button. And leave a comment. If you don't like what I said, say what you think. But don't be too nasty. Anyway, lovely talking to you all again. I'll see you again soon. And fingers crossed, you like it.